Weird, the Al Yankovic story. This is a film about a guy called Al Yankovic, a guy I'd never heard of until this film came out, and he was a musician that became famous by making parodies of well-known songs. I assume this film was a biopic about how he made it big, but what this really is is a loose representation of his story as it is downright ridiculous, crazy, weird, but it's also good fun. Al is played by Daniel Radcliffe, who does a very great job here, and it follows him from a child up to an adult when he's made it big and, you know, some of the stuff he goes through. From the start, it's very tongue-in-cheek, so you assume it's not completely accurate, but then it gets to the point where you assume most of the things you're seeing are not actually true, because it is absolutely ridiculous at times. For example, Al Yankovic fighting Pablo Escobar and killing him. It gets pretty ridiculous, but obviously that's what they were going for with this movie, as the real Al Yankovic wanted it to go this way as a co-writer. I'm not sure why. I'm sure fans of Al Yankovic could appreciate this movie and understand the weirdness of it. I have read a couple of reviews and it says something like, you're not going to appreciate this unless you know Al, not personally, but just know of him have maybe listened to him for a while and know what he's about. That's how you're really going to appreciate this movie. So it's almost something I can't fairly judge because this is not a movie that was made for me. However, it doesn't mean that it's hard to follow or anything like that. You just have to not go into it expecting a true biopic like I did. You just need to expect a wild ride. You just need to expect a bit of a crazy movie and then you won't be disappointed and honestly this film it had some good laughs in it i i did genuinely laugh at times i thought it had a, a good sense of humor a good self-awareness and it also had some funny just sort of cameos just like big actors would just appear here like jack black he had a great cameo here you know him and daniel radcliffe just bouncing off each other it's not something i ever thought i'd see on screen but it was very entertaining and yeah just in general i had some good laughs in this movie even if i was kind of confused for most of it. I looked into Al Yankovic after it and it's at that point I realised how much of what you see in this movie is untrue and just exaggerated. I mean for the most part you could probably figure that out yourself and I assume this was done to just make his story seem heroic and monumental but in a tongue-in-cheek manner because of course this is this is satire this movie but if I had to guess that's that's kind of the the feeling I'm getting from this movie. He they could have done a biopic about how Al Yankovic made it, but because what he's doing is ridiculous, you know, making these funny parodies of well-known songs, I think they just sort of decided to make a, like a parody of his own life, and I think that's the whole point, it's just kind of come full circle with his character, you know, a movie about someone like Al Yankovic had to be like this, I kind of just had a, a brainwave there, maybe, I think that makes sense, this is a parody of his own life because he makes parodies. Look at that, sometimes you just have to say stuff out loud and then you actually know what something means anyway. Either way, it was a fun movie. Radcliffe was really good here, the songs were catchy and fun, and I got a little bit of an education here, even if I can't fully appreciate or understand this movie. I would give Weird the Al Yankovic story a 7 out of 10. In terms of rewatchability, I don't think I would rewatch this, but I'll tell you what, if it came on late night TV, I might watch a bit of it. If you've seen it, let me know what you think about it, and thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.